20 triggers for an IRS audit. Trigger number one, failing to report all taxable income. Since the IRS gets copies of all the 1099s and W-2s you receive, failing to report income on your tax return may trigger an audit by IRS. Trigger number two, taking higher than average deductions, losses or credits. If the deductions, losses or credits on your return are disproportionately large compared with your income, the IRS may want to scrutinize your return. For example, you claim a big loss from the sale of rental property or other investments or bad debts, can also spike the IRS's curiosity. Trigger number three, donating a conservation or facade easement. If you've donated a conservation or facade easement to a charity, or if you are an investor in a partnership, LLC or trust that made such a donation, chances are very good that the IRS may choose to examine your tax return. Trigger number four, if you are running certain types of businesses, chance of IRS audit is higher. Sole proprietors reporting very high gross receipts on Schedule C and those running cash-intensive businesses like taxis, car washes, bars, hair salons, restaurants and the like have a higher chance of getting IRS audit notice. Then, business owners who report substantial losses on Schedule C, especially if those losses are used to adjust other income earned by taxpayers are also on radar of IRS. Trigger number four, claiming rental losses. IRS invariably chose to audit cases of claiming losses on rental properties. Basically they want to examine if the passive loss rules apply to them. The rule of passive loss prevents the deduction of rental real estate losses, but there are two important exceptions. Trigger number five, tax return non-filers cases. IRS targets non-filers, especially individuals who received income in excess of $100,000, but didn't file a return. Trigger number six, writing off a loss for a hobby. If you report multiple years of losses on Schedule C of Tax Form 1040, related to an activity that looks like a hobby and has lots of income from other sources, you will be a favorite target for IRS. Trigger number seven, claiming 100% business use of a vehicle. IRS targets business returns where the proprietor or business owner claims 100% business use of an automobile. The IRS also targets heavy SUVs and large trucks used for business, especially those bought late in the year. That's because these vehicles are eligible for more favorable depreciation and expensing write-offs. Trigger number eight, claiming the American Opportunity Tax Credit. The AOC is worth up to $2,500 per student for each of the first four years of college. IRS selects tax returns showing claims of AOC credit to examine if the credit was claimed for more than four years for the same student. Trigger number nine, incorrectly reporting the health premium tax credit. The premium tax credit helps individuals pay for health insurance they buy through the marketplace. Trigger number 10. Taking an early payout from an IRA or 401k account. The IRS wants to examine that owners of traditional IRAs and participants in 401ks and other workplace retirement plans are properly reporting and paying tax on distributions. Trigger number 11. Taking an alimony deduction. The rules on deducting alimony were changed pursuant to TCJA which alimony is neither taxable nor deductible or write-offs. Alimony also doesn't include child support or non-cash property settlements. So IRS will try to examine if they sniff you have claimed alimony write-offs. Trigger 12. Failing to report gambling winnings or claiming big gambling losses. Failure to report gambling winnings can draw IRS attention, especially if the casino or other venue reported the amounts on Form W-2G. If you report large losses on Schedule A from recreational gambling but aren't including the winnings and in income, you may invite attention of IRS. Trigger number 13. Claiming write-offs on marijuana business. Federal tax law bars tax deductions related to any business that is illegal under federal law. The business of marijuana is not legal as per federal law. So, the IRS is keeping a close eye on the tax returns of people carrying on legal marijuana firms that take improper write-offs on their returns. Trigger number 14. Claiming day trading losses on Schedule C. If you are not a day trader on stocks and buys and sell stocks as investment, your losses cannot be classified as trade loss. But that loss classifies investment loss. Since the IRS believes that many tax filers who report trading losses or expenses on Schedule C are actually investors, they select their tax return for audit. Trigger 15. Taking the research and development credit. If your tax return shows huge or ND credit, IRS may select the case for an audit to examine if it was not claimed fraudulently. Trigger number 16. Cryptocurrency transactions. 
The IRS is on the hunt for taxpayers who sell, receive, trade or otherwise deal in Bitcoin or other virtual currency and is using pretty much everything in its arsenal. Trigger number 17. Engaging in cash transactions. If you make large cash purchases or deposits, be prepared for IRS scrutiny. Trigger number 18. Failing to report a foreign bank account. The IRS has many sources for information on foreign banks' accounts of U.S. persons. If they come to know about such bank accounts, that is not declared by the taxpayer, IRS may do a tax audit. Trigger number 19 Failing to report certain professional earnings as self-employment income. If you are limited partners or LLC members and also involved in professional service industries, IRS checks if the self-employment tax on their distributive share of the firm's income was paid. Trigger number 20. Claiming foreign earned income exclusion. If you have claimed foreign earned income exclusion, your tax return may be subjected to an IRS audit to examine if the claim was correct and all condition for the said claim was satisfied. Brought to you by IRSTaxApp.com.